Hey geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we got some great giveaways coming up. Man, these new gold boxes are nifty. Alright Geeks, we're back with another McFarlane Mortal Kombat 11 figure. This time we're here with Shao Kahn. And these figures are getting better and better in the looks department, man. Really digging these. When these got announced a few weeks ago, they kind of stealth dropped and immediately went up for pre-order. Ordered mine. Um, got caught in shipping hell, but I finally got them. Hopefully it's not too late for you guys. Back of the box, got this awesome dynamic portrait of Shao Kahn himself. He got a close-up of him on the side. Peekaboo window on the top and the barcode. So these have been hitting targets, um, just nowhere by me, but if you're looking for it, you might want to check your local target before you pay too much on eBay or anything. McFar stand with the Mortal Kombat. McFar stand, Mortal Kombat edition. Boss man in his cage. I'm not going to say what I usually say because he might come get me. Oh boy, this is nice. Man, when McFarlane goes all in with the paint deco, price point can't be beat. This is awesome. Look at the details there. You got the gold inset with the silver. It's a little bit warped, but I can play with that and bend it and straighten out. But man, this thing looks fantastic. Oh, look at that. It's like a meat tenderizer. Tri-colored handle, you got the gold, the maroon, and the silver at the tip. Um, yeah. I'm here for all of this. He looks good, man. This bad boy. He kind of reminds me of the Doom Marauder, except the gold highlights really set him apart. This dude is tough. The skin looks kind of clay-like. It's almost like got that prototype finish to it more like more matte than matte but other than that man i dig it the colors you got the gold and the red up on the shoulders you got the maroon on the loincloth you got the gold down at the bottom of his walk on water sandals tight work the helmet bravo again with mcfarlane you might want to talk trash about their scale and their articulation but when it comes to the paint jobs and the sculpts they're pretty much hitting out the park with most of the figures All right, so this guy means business. Look at this. You know, when this first line came out, a lot of people were asking why. But over time, I don't think people are asking that question much anymore because it looked darn good. All right, do we have interference here? Oh, be careful that rubber right around here, it bends. So you don't want to bend out of shape. But you do get your full 360. Head rock left. Not as far to the right. Straight ahead looking for his prey. Head tilts down a little bit. And not too much range looking up. Actually the range looks a lot better from the front. And I missed a click in his head. He actually gets really good range. He's bearing his chin in his chest. See the big difference there? You can actually see the peg up under the helmet. All right, so here's the first chink in the armor, literally. So this shoulder armor is three levels, but the third level down is actually attached to the bicep. So when you're putting it up, it's gonna cause it to bend and fold in on itself. And it may rip, so I don't wanna force it up too far. See there how it's starting to bend upwards? I don't want it to rip off from here. So you're not gonna, so you're probably not gonna get full articulation out of that shoulder. 
you can see on the other side that it gets parallel with the shoulder. I don't think it goes any higher. Nope, that's as high as it goes. Man, Shao Kahn might need some lotion on those elbows. All right, will we get a 360 with this shoulder piece here? Yep, clears it. Got a bicep swivel there, and looks like you get a 360 out of it. But you gotta get that shoulder joint to stand still, <laughs> which is a task. It's really stiff. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Sorry, I sound like I'm lifting weights. All right, so you get a 360 there. Get a 360 at the wrist. And you somewhat get a repulsor blast. Jab. But no question you're going to kiss the ring. Double joint to the elbow. See the range there. Moth joints are in full effect there. You can see. Not getting deep range because of that even man chest. Abdominal crunch joint, let's see what we got. Standing straight up. Only crunches forward a little bit, it's kind of disappointing. Not too far back either. Waist is on a rocker, but it's very limited in range. So if I hold him straight up, you can see he'll lean a little bit, rock a little bit, but not too much. Can he can can? No, he McFar can't can. That's pretty pathetic. And it's not because of his loincloth. It just <laughs> has no range. That's as far as you can kick his foot straight forward. And this is as far back as you can get it to kick. While I'm bashing the articulation, I'm going to take a moment to talk about the details here in the paint. This mid drift, this middle area is chock full of little details and it's really nice. And the paint job is neat. Don't see anything to complain about. This brown leather looking paint is very glossy high gloss awesome contrast to the very very matte dusty paint on the skin and on his arm that brown is also nice and shiny i like that he's got speedos on double joint to knee gets pretty good range he's kicking above his butt a little bit of pressure, can we get him to touch? Nope. Those thighs are too big. You see his thigh and his calf are bucking up against each other right there. No thigh swivel on the leg. No calf swivel. And as always with McFarlane's, be careful of these little pointy pieces. While they won't cut you, they are sharp and they will hurt if you move them too fast. These right here keep pricking my fingers when I'm moving them around and holding them. This guy needs a pedicure. Bad. Decent toe range. I don't think he's moonwalking anywhere. But he might hit the dance floor for something. Feet are on rockers. See that sole of the foot inwards there. Funny angle rocking outwards though. And you do get a 360 on the foot. Oh yeah. He's dope. Alright geeks, so there he is Shao Kahn. Looking good. Articulation not so much but no surprise there. So go ahead and make sure to turn on notifications. I'm gonna go ahead and review the rest of the wave. I'm gonna do Scorpion and Sub-Zero and then Liu Kang. When I have them all opened, at the end of the Liu Kang video, I'll do the size comparisons between all the figures. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on them. Make sure to like, subscribe. As I said, turn on notifications. Check out our giveaway list. We have the 1500 subscriber giveaway coming up. Marvel Legends 2-pack, Age of Ultron Hulkbuster set. You don't wanna miss out on that. Make sure to comment. Let me know what you think of this figure. Did you pick him up? Are you interested now or have I turned you off to him? I want to know. So make sure to sound off. All right, geeks. Till next time, Shao Kahn out.
Yeah.